Hey friends, welcome back to another Sims 4 build challenge. Today we're gonna be trying out Lil Simsy's new shell challenge. She made a video explaining the rules and everything and her version of what she did to her own shell. So make sure you check that out. I'll link that in the description down below. Here it is on the gallery. I found it easier to search up Lil Simsy under the EA account ID to find it instead of like filtering through the hashtag. This is it right here, the small Simsy sh- I just punched my computer. This is it. This is what we're doing today. Last time she put out this really big, really difficult one. This one looks challenging in the way that there's a lot of weird bump outs. It's not really like a normally shaped house, I guess you would say. It's a hundred tiles, so it is technically under the tiny home residential, but I don't think I'm gonna try and push to keep it that way. But here are the rules for this build challenge in The Sims 4. I can basically do anything in a Lil Simsy shell challenge other than change her walls. You do not touch Lil Simsy's walls. We know this as simmers. It's embedded in our brains. So let's say I wanted to adjust this to go out like that. I can't do that. We are able to add fences, porches, balconies, roofing. All of the extras are allowed. I just cannot touch Lil Simsy's walls. So with that aside, we're gonna try and turn this weird shape into a really cute house. First thing I've done, I've changed this up to a medium wall height. I think I'm gonna try and figure out my wallpaper first. We're gonna try and get a, a vibe, an aesthetic. I don't know what style we're going for. I don't have any plan in my for this at all yet. I'm not even really sure where I want my front to be. So I'm gonna go in with a base game brick for now and then I'm gonna go and try and pick my accent pieces. Since this is only a one story like bungalow style home, I really wanna make sure that we add a lot of detail. I wanna make sure that every little bit of this thing is interesting. So I might even go for three different colors on this build. Like we could go in with a white. I kinda don't mind that uh, combination of the metal and the stone on there. And I think this might be my front right here. I'm picturing like a door entry area right there. I think in terms of like the actual shape of this, that might be the best way. So let's rotate it to face the front. And then we can do platforms right here, make a cute little walk up patio moment. So my thought process for this build, as I'm kind of going along here, I'm picturing it bit by bit. So I know that since this is the back of my house, we're gonna have obviously the patio back here. I'm trying to envision where my door might be. I feel like in a shell challenge, it's really tricky because you're constantly having to like problem solve well building. I like that. I definitely know that that's really challenging for some people. So I'm going to try and give you guys some like tips that I use, some little build tips for shell challenges. I think what I'm going to do is go in with my platforms. I know they can be a little bit of a pain in the butt, so rather get them out of the way early. So my patio is going to be about there, but I think I want to bring this out a little bit. I'm going to raise it up by maybe just one there. And then I think I want my stairs to kind of wrap around this side here. So I'm going to go in with another platform and just like complete that little stair. Step. Ooh, that Discover University door looks really cute on there. Okay, so because of this little like flower like detail and the fact that I've gotten with some metal, I'm picturing like a laid back sort of sim living here. I kind of want to build like a boho grunge sort of build. Like someone who works for themselves, a free spirit. Maybe they're a little bit younger. They like to travel. I think so far that's where I'm going to go with this. And that looks so weird with the cloud house in the background. <laughs> so I've done my half wall trick. I think I showed you guys that in a recent video where you put the half walls around the platforms and then you can change the wallpaper how you like. I'm doing that now so I can keep it cohesive with the white paneling that I've already used. I think we should roof this. Before I get too far into it, I'm already starting to envision like some clutter. I haven't done a tiny home on this channel in a hot minute. I used to do tiny homes like all the time, only tiny homes. But I was like, you know what? I'm not really that great at mansions. I'm gonna stop it for a little bit and try and like kind of navigate that. I love learning different styles in The Sims. But I saw this shell, Lil Simsy uploaded this shell and in her video, she was like, I think uploading a smaller one like this might be a little bit more like approachable for some people. I think I mentioned this in a video the other day. I was like, I want to do a tiny home. So when she uploaded that, I was pretty excited. I was like, this is exactly what I'm in the mood for right now. Something small, but I want to take a lot of time to clutter this build, put a lot of detail into it. And I think with the sim in mind and the kind of aesthetic that I want to go for, this will be really cute. I kind of want to build this house for like a busker. Like, you know, in city living, they have have this like busking station and I kind of like that this one looks like a little bit cheaper. We've got like a milk crate holding up our 
what is that? A light? Is that a light show? That's so cute. That is literally very close to my setup right now. <laughs> when I'm vlogging, that's me. That is literally my setup. I'm not joking. But anyway, I want this vibe with like the case, the stickers, the blanket. This in its entirety, we're building a house around this item. <laughs> I actually kind of want to make a little patio in the back where we could practice this. And then the whole house can revolve around like practicing the busking, but with like a street vibe in mind. So I think I actually want to do platforms for my roofing on this side, just for a little bit of variety. We can change it up, just cover up that area. And by the way, I did double check the rules, even though she uploaded this as a tiny home, uh, keeping it in those dimensions wasn't in the rules. So adding that platform on there would have normally added an extra like tile, but for us today for this build, we're just not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna go for aesthetics over, I was gonna say rules, but it's not even a rule. Aesthetics over everything. We get like a brown color for our roofing, I think. Okay, I have high hopes for this build, I do. Since I added the platforms on the outside to the entry area, I need to make sure they're gonna match up with the height of my door. And then in the back, we can go in with more platforms and bring this out. We can make a really cute patio where you could come back here and host like backyard concerts with your little busking station. How adorable would that be? I picture this sim being very carefree. They care a lot about their craft. They definitely put a lot of work and care into their music, but... This sim takes life slow. Like, yes, the sim cares about developing in their career and you know what would be a really cute story, actually? Let's say this sim is like level 10, maxed out and like the guitar skill, they're super talented, been practicing their entire life. They could make it big. They could be this huge like superstar musician in the, in the music industry in The Sims, but <laughs> they don't want that. They want their life to be relaxed. They want to live life slow enjoying what they do. Yeah, maybe our sim doesn't make big money, you know, performing in these big music shows, but they got their busking station and they like that. I want that to be the vibe here. By the way, for my landscaping, I've been super into cottage living debug lately, so I'm trying to get some of that. I want to use some of like these little subtle things. Like I think that could be really cute. Even just surrounding our lot. I think it's going to make it look a little bit more full without over cluttering it with stuff that I don't want all over my yard. The furnishing on the inside is going to be a little bit cluttered, but I feel like this sim is gonna be okay with that. They're gonna value spending time with friends, having people over, chilling in the backyard. We could line the outside patio with like some city living fairy lights maybe. Like if it enclosed everything in like that and we extend this a little bit and I'm picturing that cardboard dance floor. I don't wanna go too boho. Like on the inside, I'm picturing more indie, like indie boho. I don't know how, how to describe it. I'm gonna post some pictures of my inspo for you. If I can find like what's going on in my head, I'll post some pictures for you because <laughs> indie boho, I always like combine these aesthetics in my head to describe to you guys. And like, it's not a vibe. Do you even know what I mean? Indie boho means this. right? That's what was going on in your head, right? You know what? No, no, not really, but continue. I'm dealing with a lot of roofing problems. I'm not really sure if this is because of the platforms that I've added, but I keep getting these like see-through parts of my trim. I'm thinking it might be because of this. So I might end up changing that, but then even over here, like I'm, I'm dealing with these like see-through areas and I don't know why. It's really annoying, but I'm gonna go and get my windows. I've been loving lately get to work, which is so strange. Very random, um, but I really like this window here and actually this one too. I use that one at the front with my door. I thought it looked so cute with that clutter. So I want to use this. It reminds me of the new industrial loft window, but smaller. And I think this shutter from Discover University looks really cute with it too. So I'm going to bring those around. Like this is what I mean. Why is this here? I've kind of done a little bit more landscaping in the back too. Added some more clutter. I've got my trash can back here. I want to add a picnic table or something. I made a pond or like a fire pit. I picture some spending a lot of time back here. So I want like a cooler. There's so many picnic tables. I feel like I haven't even used half of these ever. Like, what does this one look like? It's blue. I mean, maybe we could do the white one and then outdoor retreat can have another moment over here with a fire pit. Just something small. Of course, with a guitar by the fire. Oh, you know. This place is so chill. Oh, I want to go here. Like, I need friends with this house <laughs> that I can make plans with like once a year. <laughs> okay, let's um look at this super cute hack that I just found out. This might not 
be a hack. This might be like what it was supposed to be intended for in the first place. But this item here from the Blooming Rooms kit, that's what it looks like naturally. All I did was size this up by one and put it underneath my window. And now it's like the cutest little window box. I love the handles on it. I love how it's just kind of like sitting there, especially with this window. Like that looks really cute like that. And with the other swatches too, cannot wait to overuse that build hack a million times in the future. So right now I figured out a layout. It's not too hard with this shell. It's like pretty open on the inside. So we've got the bedroom on one side. It's gonna be a one bedroom house, but I feel like you could even make this a double bedroom if you wanted to. And then I'm gonna have my bathroom in the back, but I wanna make sure that we've got like a music area carved out of this thing for sure. So I think I'm gonna start there. I want it to be this area here. I'm gonna go and get the mixing station from Get Famous. So this one right here, we'll put that right by the window. And then I want like guitars on the wall. I wish you could mount them like that. Cause your Sims don't even really like, they can kind of pick them up wherever and then they just stay in their inventory. So I kind of feel like having it on the wall could be kind of cool. It would just be a nice feature. Like even just a, a button on your in your inventory, like it could be like mount on wall. I don't know. I just find myself raising these up a lot. I feel like it could be kind of cool. Like just mount it up there or an item even. <gasps> music pack when I would die. I love building music rooms in The Sims. Actually, I remember that was like a topic. I remember people thought that there was gonna be a game pack or something for that for so long and it never happened. So I mean, maybe, maybe in the future, one day. I'm picturing a lot of posters on the wall. I want this to be a very relaxed music area. So I'm gonna try and find some clutter. Like I want papers on the floor, probably another light. It's a little bit dark over here, but the vibe of this and like the entire house is basically gonna be like very, very lived in, very used often. I feel like building mansions versus building tiny homes is a total different feeling. Like with tiny homes, at least for me and like how I like to build, when I build a mansion, I'm trying to make it big and impressive and beautiful. And sometimes, you know, cluttering is very difficult when you, when you are going for a big home like that. But tiny homes, you can kind of spend more time on the detail, like everything is really thought out. I just have more time to make sure everything is in place that I want it to be. Oh, this from City Living could look cute. There's like a bookshelf under there. I don't know if that's functional. This ottoman sports both comfort and book storage. If you're running out of room to store your book collection, primarily because you insist on remaining in the 20- What? I don't want to read this. This ottoman has you covered. Okay. <laughs> I like that area. That looks cute. It's cluttered. Kind of the vibe that I'm going for. I think I am going to get some custom content. I'm going to download some custom art. This is a gallery that I'm downloading it from. I really just wanted some band pictures, but like this color scheme and everything, this is going to work. With, there's some with like quotes on them. I don't really like to use quotes when I'm doing this. Like when I'm downloading my CC, no CC art. Because with like the Simlish, like it just feels weird to me to put it in a Sims world unless it like really matches. And I feel like this does match. Like this style is gonna look so good in here. I can feel it. I made a cute foyer area right here. And then on this side, I think my kitchen is gonna be in this like corner. And I don't want it to be big. I don't want it to be fancy, flashy, none of that. We're gonna do some just like regular counters. Maybe this fridge here. I'm kind of liking how there's like a lot of contrast in this build. And then instead of making an island, I think I wanna bring this this way and we can kind of just like put those two there. And then honestly, I could probably fit a little dining area right in there. And then I have so much room for my living room. This is one of those weird like illusion shells where it looks like it's gonna be a lot smaller than it is. Oh, we could do the cottage living clock on the wall maybe. I want this to look like an assortment of kind of like knickknacks because I'm picturing if this sim is busking, they're gonna have to be traveling around to do that, going out in different areas. So I would assume if our sim is traveling a lot, they would maybe collect a lot of these things, especially if they do have money, like I'm picturing. Maybe they prefer to spend it on sentimental things as opposed to like materialistic things. I like this sim. I kind of want to like play with this sim after. I really like the idea of like slowing down and appreciating things as they come rather than rushing through life. So I really, I <laughs> sometimes my builds relate to like my real life in a way. This is one of them. You can Slow down, enjoy the ride. Really, really ride it out, you know? So this is what I've done to my living room. I added a couch. A lot of this stuff does look like a little bit on the cheaper side, like this couch here. My lamp is one of the cheaper items. I've got my trunk over there with my TV and my bookshelf being held up by cinder blocks. The one thing that I wish I had for this build was more like posters like this because I can download the custom art off the gallery, but it doesn't ever come in this like poster format. So more posters like this would have been great for this, but 
and like ones that aren't meant for kids because I find a lot of them are. I think I'm gonna add a couple more accent walls just like here and there. Then we're gonna go into our bedroom. So in here, it's gonna be the same vibe, same kind of coziness. I'm picturing an eco lifestyle bed, I think. Lots of pillows, nice and cozy. Or even city living like the futon, but not the used one. We'll get some cottage living hanging lights. I think I'm gonna put them on both sides here. Actually, what else can I toss in there from city living? I know that sometimes the Sims 4 city living has like hidden gems in here. So like this, I really love to use this end table here. I think it's so unique. We can do a dresser over on this side with a mirror. I wanna get like a little boom box or like this thing. I would love like another one of these. Moschino, how did I forget about Moschino? They have so many music kind of inspired items. Like they've got a trunk, a pink one, and I think it has stickers on it. Oh, okay, no stickers, it's fine. <laughs> But I have the amps, another poster. I really like how these look. I'm so happy we downloaded these. Maybe we can put like that right there and a shelf. Oh, paranormal maybe in black with that hanging plant could be cute. There are so many guitars in this build. I feel like a whole band could move in here if I had more bedrooms. That could be a fun kind of gameplay style for this house. Like you could find bandmates, they could move in with you, they could couch surf. There, oh, I can't wait to see our Sim move in here. This looks so cute. I put an easel over there from Discover University. University. I feel like this picture looks really cool in here. I'm so happy that I found that like cool art that I downloaded. But this is how our bedroom turned out. I did do the bathroom as well, which I'm gonna show you guys. It's nothing special, but I used the Discover University mirror and I raised it up on top of my sink. So it looked like it was kind of just put there instead of being actually installed. I've got some shower supplies, some more clutter, some base game towels on the wall and our shower. So nothing too exciting, but still has like the cluttered vibe that I was going for with this build. So our build is complete. I'm gonna make a sim in this aesthetic. They're gonna move in and we're gonna do the walkthrough. As soon as our sim moved in, she started dancing. She's exactly how I envisioned her to be. So here's the house completely done. Here's our sim busking away on their back patio. Actually, this is a pretty convenient location. I was gonna move. But then I realized we lived right next to this little park. Not really sure what's going on here, honestly. Is there supposed to be like a roller skate arena here and it's just not showing up? That's hilarious. Hold on. What's happening? <laughs> um, yeah, we're not moving. We're staying here. This is so entertaining. If you get bored of your gameplay, you can just watch this. <laughs> anyway, plus if she's busking over here, those people are gonna see and hear her. So, you know, I'm just looking out. Here's our sim vibing away in our living room. Our super cute kitchen. She's getting down. You can find our sim often rocking away. Media production skill. Fun. Looking out the window, getting inspiration. Our bedroom looking so cute. I'm so happy we added those paintings. I think they really had a nice addition to this build. This area over here is one of my favorite in the house, in the bedroom. And our bathroom, and this is a little bit small, so I'm gonna have a hard time showing you guys, but here it is. I think this mirror really gives it character. I think the clutter in here with everything, you can really picture our Sim actually living a fulfilling life in here. I think she's gonna be happy. I think we've set this Sim up in a house according to their values, morals, and beliefs. That is what I've done for my Simsy small shell challenge in The Sims 4. This build will be up on the gallery under Sydney Macaretta if you want to download it. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.